Hey, what's up guys, Bajiri here. So in light of patch 5.3 hitting just yesterday, um, I've already been receiving tons of questions about uh, how I'm going to set up my warrior. So what I'm going to do for this quick video is going to take a quick look at my gem setup, um, and of course the talent setup as well. But I think you'll find that not much has changed with my talents. I'm still going to be going with the Juggernaut, Second Wind, Disrupting Shout, Shockwave, Safeguard, and Avatar build with um, the Glyph of Death from Above, Glyph of Blitz, and the bull rush and one of the main reasons I like this so much is because especially due to the defensive stance buff I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in defensive stance even maybe in BG's but definitely in 3v3 and the glyph of bull rush and uh, the juggernaut talent are gonna keep me um, with enough rage to be effective I never really feel like I have a lot of rage problems as long as I'm not spamming heroic strike too much then I feel like I've got plenty of rage to do whatever I need to do to be uh, an effective warrior in 3v3. So I'm gonna stick with this setup for my talents. Um, for my gems, however, I will be making a change. They did make um, a pretty substantial nerf to the PvP stats, like the PvP resilience, PvP power. So I'm gonna be taking a lot of my yellow gems, which my yellow gems used to only be resilience, and I'm gonna start optimizing differently. So what I'm gonna optimize for now is strength, and then I'm gonna have my second stat behind strength be crit. So let me show you how I did this. Uh, in my helm, I've got 216 strength and the 3% increased critical effect. That hasn't changed, but my meta gem did change. I put my big ass jewel crafting gem in there. And if you don't have a jewel crafting gem, I would. If you want to, if you want to do what I'm doing. Now this is just me. Uh, there are plenty of builds, and you can experiment with what you want. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing first. Um, and I am optimizing for strength, so I'm going to put a big red strength gem in my helm. I'm going to put an 80 strength gem and a 160 critical strike gem in my yellow sockets and I'm gonna do this for everything so pretty much any yellow socket is gonna have an 80 strength and 160 critical strike chance in it because I want to optimize for strength so I'm gonna put strength anywhere I can get it and that actually ends up being in all my gem sockets you just have to decide which gem you want to put in there in terms of like what other secondary stat you want some people will go for a full crit build here and in their yellows they will put uh, 320, uh, 320 critical strike chance and um, leave their reds to be the 80 strength and 160 critical strike chance. That's if you're optimizing for crit. I'm sticking with strength, so all of my reds will be pure strength, all of my reds and prismatics will be pure strength, all of my yellows will be 80 strength, 160 crit, and my blues you'll see, this is the kind of sketchy decision, uh, I put 80 strength and 80 pvp power in there for now. Um, you could experiment with some hit, so you could reforge around and get a little bit extra crit, but right now, all I'm doing is reds and prismatics, full strength. Yellows are 80 strength, uh, 160 PvP power. Blues are 80 strength, um, I think I said that wrong, 160 uh, crit for yellows, excuse me. Uh, 80 strength, 80 PvP power for blues. That's what I'm doing for right now. Um, and I think that's going to work out just fine for me. I, I, I like I like the, the consistency of strength. I, I, think, I think we're counting down to the realm restarting here. Yeah, but whatever. I wanted to make this video for you guys real quick. But the reason why I'm doing strength is because I like the consistency of it. I might not crit as often, but my crits are going to hit harder. I might not be enraged as like as often, but my enraged damage will be will be more. So I like the consistency of strength, and overall you're going to be hitting harder. You just might not be critting quite as often as somebody who's going for a full crit build. And if you're going for a full crit build, you might be um, looking to have crit in every socket. You just have to figure out how to do that. And that's really all there is to it. You only, have, you only have three different, or I guess four, if you count your prismatics, but that's just more of your main stat that you want. You just got three gem sockets to figure out how to, how to um, optimize your main stat. For me, it's strength. For you, it might be crit. Um, you might even want to stick around with, with the resilience build. It's just you're not going to get the percentage value stats out of it. But you have to decide if it's worth it for you or not. But um, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. And if you guys have seen this enchant, you're like, oh, what's this enchant? This is the new... Uh, this is the bloody dancing steel. For if you get 2200, you can change a dancing steel enchant over to a bloody dancing steel enchant. It looks awesome. Let me show it to you. For this, for the realms restart. But yep, so far, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the changes that we could talk about real quick. Uh, defensive stance has been buffed to 25% again. Shield wall is now on a, a three minute cooldown. They also fixed the bug with sweeping strikes, so it should uh, factor in with uh, resilience again, I think. 
We'll see if it works out correctly. But uh, overall, 5.3 is looking really, really good for Warriors. Um, I did want to make sure and share with you guys what I was thinking for my uh, for my gemming setup, my talent setup. Keep in mind, I like to say this disclaimer anytime I make a video like this that's somewhat instructional. This is what I'm doing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm not claiming that this is the best setup. This is just a setup that I'm thinking about wor working with, and maybe even just working with for now. I might change it up a little bit later on, but right now, I've always really been a huge fan of consistency, high strength values, and so that's what I'm gonna go back to after the PvP power and PvP resilience nerf. So, good luck in 5.3. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far, and I'll definitely keep you posted for uh, anything that I think is interesting about the Warrior class. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and have fun out there. Peace!